This is Ken Halla, and depending on where you're seeing the video, you can go also go to one of my blogs, U.S. History or World History Teacher or U.S. Government Teacher's blog, and you can see the how-to videos and sheets that go along with this, this little recording. This is about Google Docs and the amazing things it can do for you, your students, and your peers in, the cla in other classrooms in both your school and county or around the country. We're looking at Google Docs and it comes across, you can create folders, you can upload anything you have in your, on your disk or your flash drive or your home personal computer. You can create what are called collections and then if you look at them, sub-collections. And I'm looking at my World History 1, it looks I'm sure very much like what you would have. Let's go into our Western River Valleys and we're going to Egypt and we're pick Pyramids on the Nile. I'm just going to show you how easy this is. I'm going to write here, this is a test. And then I want to make it a different color. Change the color. If you notice up here it says saving. And I guess now it's been saved. Without my doing anything, click off it. I can go to my blackboard. I then click on pyramids worksheet. And you notice this is a test is already there. If I was a student already in Google Docs, I could go to File, make a copy, and it would then be in my Google Docs, the students folder, and then they could manipulate it and answer the questions. They could go to Share. Once they had in their Google Docs, they simply would put in your address, and immediately it would be in your Google Docs, and then you could correct it. How great is that? No more forgetting the work at home, on the kitchen table, in their room. When they're done with it, they can turn it into you instantly. The other thing I like is how you can just put it in Blackboard. To do that, you go to the Control Panel, you go to Assignments, and you click on External Link. You would type the name, you'd put the link there, Allow. And then the key thing here is you also push Open in a new window, and then the student can easily access it. When you're back in Google Docs, as I said, you have you can create new folders called collections, documents, presentations are also PowerPoints, spreadsheets, form, drawings is like Microsoft Paint, and tables, which is a brand new thing that they have. If you want to create subfolders, you click on your folder till it's red, you go to the arrow down key, and then you go to create new, and you can see how you can do all the same things I just showed you. If you want to collaborate with other teachers, you see this is Hayfield Social Studies, our folder. We have subs, we have the, high, the mobile carts that we check out, so we can not have to have just one person check it out of time. We can have multiple people in it at the same time. You can see here's our World History 1 f uh, folder, uh, which I'm going to even a subfolder. And you can see we have our meeting notes for our CLT, we have remediation. And so we have our remediation plans, our assessment data, and that's a spreadsheet. And what we put in there, for example, is exactly what we're going to do with the kids who need some extra assistance and the questions by teacher and how each of us did so that we can discuss it. And because we shared it with our administrator, there's no emails, there's no downloading. Our administrator can watch us put in the data in live if she wanted to. How great is that to save time. The PowerPoints are one of the really amazing and powerful things. If I will go back to my Egypt folder here and I go into the Egypt Notes folder, let's say I want to insert a video and because the word Egypt is there, YouTube will immediately look for Egypt or I could write any other word in there. And I click on Egypt and Israel, complete PowerPoint, I select video, I save it, I start the presentation, and immediately I'm now into YouTube and I can play the video. Abdel Fattah came to bring home Just like that, I can also go back to my original thing. I can I can drag it and make it bigger or I can delete it. Pretty powerful. You can take your current PowerPoints and upload them if you so prefer. Uh, and then add to them. Again, you could collaborate with other CLT members to make a joint uh, presentation such as I've done here or a joint 
web quests or, or whatever you want to do with your students. Uh, and you could even collaborate with people, again, that are outside your school, outside your county, outside your country. Finally, I should say that I made this video using Screencast-O-Matic. I didn't have to have a login, a password. I just simply made it, and then I pushed Stop, saved it into my YouTube folder, and within five minutes, I now have an embed link so that you can see it on my blog. Hope this has been helpful.